Alright, this is my science project. Um, we had to build a model of a neuron, so I did it using Minecraft. Um, as I'll show you later, the neuron is functioning, but for now I'll just kind of go through and show you all the parts of it. Um, these are the dendrites which receive the neurotransmitters and then send a message to down to like the axon area which activates the action potential which sends an impulse down the axon and into the axon terminals where that message or impulse makes the vesicles start making the neurotransmitters which as I said before go into the um, dendrite through the receptors that are on the dendrites. Um, this is the synaptic cleft where the neurotransmitter passes through. These are the axon terminals as the sign says. Um, go back to the main part of the so uh, what we're standing on right now is the cell body. I'll just walk around, see it. It's nothing too spectacular, but uh, this is kind of the view from above. The blue part is the nucleus, and that's where all the DNA and everything is. This is the axon, the big thing with all the yellow and spaces on it. The yellow things surrounding it are the myelin sheaths, which are made of fat. And that's why I picked yellow, because fat is yellow, so I thought it was a good color to use. Uh, the spaces in between are nodes, which is where the impulse actually travels on. Um, and yeah, so that all just travels down into the terminals, and it goes through the process I said before which all that together is called a synapse. Um, I guess I can fire it up and show you how it goes. Oh, um, the, the action potential only uh, activates if a threshold, threshold is reached. So if a stimulus reaches the threshold, then this, the message is strong enough to make the action potential send the impulse. So I'll start the impulse by hitting this lever, fly out. You can see the, uh, the impulse going through the axon terminal, and then over here I'll have to place this in here. If I put that right there, there, then you can see that the neurotransmitters start going into the dendrites, which then would make the signal go down through here. And then if there were an axon on the cell, which I didn't add in, because, uh, I just don't know, lack of time, uh, and then it would cause an action potential, and then you would see exactly what we're what was happening here going in on in that cell. So um, I'll kind of say show some of the things that I use to make this happen. Um, this is called a redstone clock, which uh, it just makes a signal keep repeating like that because normally redstone just is one solid signal that doesn't stop. So, like you see there, that's a redstone torch, which is the source of power. But yeah, like the redstone just it doesn't stop. Um, the the way to get this to stop is to add a switch, like I had up there. So that just makes it stay on, which would be why the lights were on when I hit this switch up here. I'll show you that quick. So the switch is just on, so the lights stay on. 
um, in the vesicle area, the, where the vesicles are in the uh, axon terminal, where it's actually shooting out the, um, the neurotransmitter. It, there's a device in there that looks like this, which I actually designed myself. Um, that right there is called a, um, it's a, oh crap, I can't think of it, one sec. It's a repeater, there, yeah, it's a repeater. So, um, when it's like that, it just, it acts like one of those, but it makes the signal so it'll carry further, because generally, redstone only lasts for 15 blocks, but if you add that in, it'll continue for another 15. So when it's like that, it's just, you know, same as that, carry the signal just as quick. But as you start making that move further away, it makes the signal uh, have a delay to it, which I'll show you very quick. So you hit the switch, and here I'll show it again, it was kind of quick. So the first one, the one on the left, fires before the right one which actually makes it able to push that out. So it looks like that. So I had that clock over there, so it's sending the signal, so those kept doing it over and over again. So I hope you liked the video. Um, I guess you, you can post comments or uh, video response if you have any uh, things that are cool like this that you just want to show. Thanks for watching. Um, Subscribe if you like videos. I'm gonna try to get some more posted here. Um, go over to my uh, friend at Fat Donut Hole. That's their uh, channel name. Got some pretty nice videos, Minecraft too, or not tutorials, but Minecraft videos in general. Uh, they've got a thing going where if you subscribe, if they get 50 subs 50,000 subscribers, he's gonna release a really cool texture pack he made. So. Just check them out and subscribe if you like it. Uh, that's all. See ya.